5G is a term we're starting to hear a lot now. And while there's a lot of cool things that it's going to enable in the future that everybody's talking about, what if you're wondering what it can do right now? Well, I spent the last couple of days here in Chicago testing out Sprint's 5G network that recently just launched here. And while I was skeptical going into this of what it could actually do for me right now, I have to admit, I now feel like there's a lot more than I thought. Now first up, the thing that is most apparent is of course faster speeds. Just like how 4G kind of jumped us ahead in terms of speed over 3G, 5G is planning to do the same and we're already starting to see some of that. Now I tested against LTE phones that are already fast in their own right and was surprised by the difference. Downloading an episode of Stranger Things on my Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 and X50 modem powered Samsung S10 5G took way less time than on the 4G phone. Downloading my Spotify playlist, same result. I even did a video call with my father while walking around an area with a lot of people, and normally it would work, but it'd be a bit choppy. Maybe freeze here and there, etc. On the 5G device though, it was crisp, and there were no hiccups whatsoever. It's honestly funny to think just how much you don't think that you need these types of speeds until you have them. And then things that you normally would have waited for, even on like super fast LTE networks, you don't have to anymore. Another thing I noticed that was great was that in crowded touristy areas, for example, when my other carrier sims would both slow to a crawl in LTE because of the congestion on the network, the 5G phone was still giving me crazy speeds. Now some of this comes down to the fact that obviously there's not a lot of people on the 5G network, sure but the 5G network itself still has so much bandwidth, it can handle a lot more people than the LTE ones. Now, when most people get on the 5G networks at some point, it will actually relieve congestion on the LTE networks, making those faster as well. And a lot of carriers are gonna be using both of those together, and so the two networks combined will be able to handle a lot more than the single LTE network can right now. Also, it's not just about phones. Sprint also let me borrow a Qualcomm powered HTC hub that is basically a portable Wi-Fi hotspot that can use the 5G network here. And I tried that out while just sitting outside of a cafe whose Wi-Fi speeds were annoying me, frankly, and was getting over 150 megabits per second easily. That's way faster than the average home internet speeds in the US. Real world, not theoretical. I was able to browse the web with pages loading instantly, stream Spotify, had YouTube playing in the background, etc. I was basically able to use the 5G network as if I was just using my internet at home, and it worked just as seamlessly. Now what I'm testing out here, of course, is just the beginning of the 5G rollout. But the carriers, they're not messing around. They're rolling out these networks faster than any other network before. New cities are popping up every day, the speeds are getting faster on a weekly basis, and the latency is getting lower and lower. Now I know how crazy it's gonna be when all of these networks reach their full potentials. And I've been excited about that for a while now. But after this trip and experiencing this, I'm excited just to see what happens in the next few months. There guys, let me know what you think in the comments below of 5G, of this video, et cetera. There's also a link below to check out a page on Qualcomm's site that has all of the 5G cable phones that you can check out, et cetera. I'll be doing a video explaining 5G a lot more in depth soon, so make sure to check out the rest of my YouTube channel and subscribe and ding the bell next door subscribe so you can notify when that goes live and other videos that I do as well, of course. Um, but as always, regardless, thanks for watching.